On Marathon Monday, did you know that in front of the town hall was officially dedicated to children? Not just any child, but the children of Children's Hospital. Big inspiration from a little lady with larger than life strength caused some town activists to bring t to Wellesley Children's Way. Here is Frank Walls with more on the story. This past March 13, 2006, the selectmen met for their Monday meeting. At this meeting, Tim Mall came to the board to ask the selectmen if he could have in front of Town Hall on Washington Street named Children's Way for the Boston Marathon. Uh, he, he represents the Miles for Miracles program. Some of you may be um, familiar with this. This is a um, charitable program uh, related to the running of the marathon and uh, sponsorship through the um, Children's Hospital of Boston. I come to you as a resident of Wellesley, a marathoner, a father of three children, and ask to give the children that Children's Day in Wellesley by calling that Children's Way on Marathon Monday. A declaration was read by Hans Larson and signed by all the selectmen. So this is a resolution to honor the children of the Miles for Miracles program. On Friday, April 14th, I met with Tim to have him speak a bit more on what was going to be happening down in front of Town Hall at Children's Way. And what this is, is on Monday, we're going to have kids from Children's Hospital who are here watching the marathon, looking for their patient partners. The marathon's coming up this way, obviously, and this is about the halfway mark. And what the idea is, is runners like myself, who are running for Children's Hospital on behalf of the kids, are going to come in here, we're going to look for our patient partners, stop quickly and give them a hug or something, we're going to get energized by seeing these kids and how much fun they're having watching the marathon. And then we're going to continue on about another 13 miles into Back Bay. A lot of these kids face challenges that are very difficult where they don't have the ability to run a marathon. And that's why we do this. We do this so that we can be inclusive and give them that marathon experience. Now some of these kids may have some bodies with limitations, but I can tell you none of them have any limitations in spirit. They're all excited and we come through here on Monday, you're going to hear a huge roar as you see the Children's Hospital singlets on these runners and the kids see their patient partners. On Patriots Day, Marathon Monday, I went to watch the marathon at Children's Way. Children's Way came about because of Katie Lynch, a very special woman who inspired Tim and many others. In this area, we're going to have a banner hanging up, and it's going to say, The Town of Wellesley Welcomes the Kids to Children's Way. And on the banner is going to be a picture of Katie Lynch, who's a hero to myself and a lot of the kids of Children's Hospital. Now, Katie was born with a rare condition that allowed her to grow to only 28 inches tall, and she only weighed about 35 pounds. But during that time, although she could never really walk on her own, she was a very determined young woman who actually graduated from college and went on to become a patient advocate at Children's Hospital to help the kids, where she spent a good part of her time growing up because of her medical conditions. Now in 2000, she went to Dave McGilvery, who's the race director of the Boston Marathon, and she asked him for a chance to run the Boston Marathon her personal distance of 26.2 feet as a symbol of the 26.2 miles that the runners are going to run on Monday. Now Dave gave her a chance to do that and in April 2001 a podium was built out in Hopkinton where Katie got up and walked the furthest she'd ever walked in her life. During that time she raised a significant amount of money as well as awareness for the kids of Children's Hospital. Unfortunately Katie left us less than a year later, but her memory serves as a very strong image to the kids at Children's Hospital and the runners like myself of what kids can do when they have the kind of care that's given at Children's Hospital. Not only is Tim involved, so is his wife, whom both participate for Katie's team, as well as Miracles for Miles for Children's Hospital. Kate's patient partner, Will Ward, was on hand at Children's Way waiting for Kate. He brought along his mom, Gretchen, a sign that read Go Kate and Kate's picture. Will sat smiling as well as tapping the picture of Kate in an enthusiastic clap while waiting for her to arrive. 
Many children runners passed and Will cheered them on. A few other miles from Miracle Runners stopped to see their partners as well as other children hospital runners who ran by or also stopped to say hi to familiar smiling faces. Myself, my wife, uh, Kate Mall, as well as Jeff Larson and Gretchen Wilson formed the nucleus that we call Katie's team. And every year we work together to raise money as well as awareness for Children's Hospital by running the Boston Marathon. With a good runner's time from Hawkington, Kate arrived to cheers and ran right over to Will who was so happy to see Kate. With a little positive coaching from Will, Kate was off and ready to finish the Boston Marathon. I'm Frank Wallace for Wellesley This Week.